the electronic box. It's a dashboard to teach basic electronics to little kids, like those scientific toys from the 70s. Let's start with the basics, connecting the battery to an LED. Simple. To make things more interesting, we can add a switch to the circuit. When a switch is closed, current can flow through it. There is also a push to make switch, which is normally closed and opens the circuit when pressed. This is a latching switch. There are two potentiometers. One is used as a voltage divider, while the other one is acting as a variable resistor. In both cases, the rotation controls the resistance to the flow of current between their terminals. A multi-way switch can be used as a toggle. The other one is the same, but has a spring that makes its action momentary. This integrated circuit is a timer. It generates pulses at regular intervals. Here it's paired with a potentiometer to control the length of the interval and an LED to show the state of the circuit. This component is a capacitor. It can store energy and release it later. Here it's paired with a resistor, creating a circuit that takes time to charge and discharge. There are many LEDs or light-emitting diodes. This is an RGB LED that combines three LEDs of different colors into one component. By controlling the amount of current that flows through its terminals, we can create all the colors of the rainbow. This is a beeper. Like the name suggests, it beeps. It vibrates thanks to a tone generator that's placed inside the box, which is connected to the potentiometer that controls its frequency. We can connect it to the timer, just to make it even more annoying. This component is a photoresistor and it can reduce the flow of current based on how much light hits it. I think that this toy encourages experimentation, letting kids combine simple modular circuits to create more complex ones. The inside of the lid has some instructions, which I also printed out in Italian. After all, the box is called La Scatola Elettronica. Connections are made using jumper cables made with bullet connectors, fitting their crimp connectors. If you remove the faceplate, you'll get to the hidden guts of the box and find out that it's not actually powered by magic. Not visible from the top are only the frequency generator for the buzzer, which is another timer, and a safety fuse, which is probably never going to be triggered since all the terminals accessible from the top are positive, so there's no risk of short circuit. Oh, I forgot about this guy. It's a motor connected to a propeller. 